Hello Lincoln Instructors, this is Kyle with McGraw-Hill and in this short video I'm going to walk you through how you can simulate what the student would see in your Alex course. So I'm logged in as an instructor and all that I need to do is click on student view. Okay so student view is going to allow you not only to go in and take the initial assessment and see the tutorial for the very first time but it's going to allow you to do work and it will save your work but if at any time you would like to erase all that work and go back to the very beginning then you just click this checkbox next to reset the student view and then you click enter now okay so now you'll see that it's taking me into the very beginning of what it looks like as a student. The one difference is we've got this button on the right hand side that allows us to skip certain steps. So a student would only be able to see the next button whereas you can fast forward and kind of jump to the important pieces. So we'll click next and you'll see that it starts walking me through the tutorial. This is a mandatory thing that all students have to do because we want them to be familiarized with the Alex interface before they ever get into the program. All right, so it's walking through some of the basic functionalities that they will need for this Alex prep course. All right, so let's say this is good enough for me as an instructor. I'm ready to go on to the initial assessment. I can click this fast forward button in the lower right hand corner. All right, and now it takes me to the initial assessment. So the Alex initial assessment is where we establish the baseline for what the student knows. The assessment's going to be between 25 and 30 questions usually, and it's going to vary based on the student's knowledge level. Meaning, if a student clearly has no idea about any of the most basic topics that they're going to be covering in this class, we're not going to continue to ask them mid and high level questions because we don't want to waste their time. We'd rather get them into the program and have them start working and filling in those pieces of the pie. So if you'd like to see the initial assessment, you can click Next and begin answering questions. Or at any time, you can fast forward. Okay, so you're going to have a couple of different options in which you can proceed if you decide to fast forward through the assessment. The first would be that your student self performs consistently with what you've done thus far. So if you've answered a couple of questions, this would be a fine option. Your next option is that you had little or no knowledge of prep for math and dosage. You had moderate knowledge, you had advanced knowledge, or as if you knew all topics. For the sake of this demo, I'm going to say that I had little or no knowledge and click Next. All right, and now it's going to show you what the student sees after the initial assessment when they're first taken into Alex and they're introduced to the Alex Pie. So it just walks you through, explains to you what the different pieces of the pie represent, and informs the student on how they can navigate and begin working on various topics that they need to learn. Okay, so that's how you simulate a student. At any time, if you'd like to exit out, you can just click the exit button, close the, the tab, and you can return to your instructor view. If I click on my home tab, I'm right back in my instructor homepage. So that's how you navigate the student view.